My knowledge about insects is limited to that of a casual nature lover, so I was very interested to learn more when I came across these books. In this review, I compared two related books with each other, an encyclopedia and a field guide. The goals of the books are not the same, and the two books complement one another. So what is the difference between a field guide and an encyclopedia? The difference is similar to that between a dictionary and a book with several short articles. The field guide will not be read like a storybook from cover to cover, but will be consulted or referenced to assist with the identification of insects and to get the facts about a specific insect. The encyclopedia contains several interesting facts about insects, including behavior, reproduction, movement, sight, hearing, smelling, and more. It can be read like a book, but with its extensive index, it can also be used as a reference guide for research. It's estimated that there are 250,000 species of insects present in South Africa. This is mind-boggling if compared to the less than 1,000 bird species of the region. The updated third edition of this field guide covers more than 1,500 of these species, including the most common, most economically and ecologically important, most interesting and most attractive insects. The guide starts with interesting descriptions about the importance of insects, the body parts, the life history and the distribution over the different biomes of South Africa. The section on where to find insects, how to collect, preserve, display and photograph insects is an indication that the book is not only for the entomologists and other academics, but also for students, gardeners, farmers, tourists and anyone with an interest in the natural world. A clear how-to section explains reasons for the inclusion of the specific range of species and explains all the information contained on the reference pages. The insects are arranged by order, family and then species or genus. The description includes identification traits, biology and habitat. Clear, vivid photographs are shown for each species. The common name is indicated with the scientific name. I would have liked to see the common name in other regional languages as well, such as Afrikaans. A quick reference guide with illustrations on the inside covers will assist with identification of insects in the field. At the back of the book, the index with scientific names and the index with common names makes it easy for readers to find the detailed descriptions of a species. As mentioned in the introduction, this book is not intended as a field guide for insect identification purposes, but rather an overview of the fascinating behaviour and activities of insects. The first chapter is an introduction to the world of insects, explaining their origin, the different orders and families, insect anatomy, ending with fascinating information on various records such as fastest, best vision, shortest and longest lifespans, and more. Each chapter contains useful, interesting and lesser known facts and is illustrated with photographs. The last chapter, with more than 60 pages, is dedicated to identification guidelines of the 70 most common and visible insect families, not species, that occur in Southern Africa, grouped by orders and families. Photos and illustrations complement the descriptions of the most visible traits with insect sizes and explanations of its biology and habitat. At the back is an index with scientific and common names. Once again, it would have been better if there were also references to the common names in other regional languages such as Afrikaans. I used the Afrikaans version of the book for my review, but it's also available in English. Music